afternoon and welcome to the Western Oval for the Geelong District Football League clash against the Barry Bass Valley Football League. And uh, good afternoon, Barry Walker. Good afternoon, Ron. Conditions uh, not the best for the uh, greatest game in the world, Barry Australian Rules footy, but uh, still the boys hopefully won't uh, have any more rain out there this afternoon and uh, it could uh, develop into quite a good uh, enter entertaining afternoon of footy. Yes, Ron, it should. Uh, the rain's gone at the moment. Uh, a little bit slippery, but otherwise I think uh, the, t the ground is in perfect condition. Well, the big men fly in. Uh, Glasgow doing battle there for Bass Valley. Ooh. It's first touch of the leather. A high tackle has been made on that Bass Valley player, and it looks like from here, Barry uh, Paul Weir now goes short and brings the ball to the member's side to Doug McIver. Bass Valley wearing the navy blue and white v's of course geelong and district in the uh, maroon and uh, white guernseys as we see breaking clear at half back good football craig eaves the sentiment kicks long but there's nobody home for the geelong and district side uh, nice mark has been taken there by dino geller plays on now good football up there to the leading half forward in stephen uh, Gold uh, Calderbella and Calderbella now plays on quickly, kicks to centre half forward, but it's again Bass Valley in front. Good football there, quick hands from David Brand, gives it across to his teammate and captain in David Boyd, who kicks long up to uh, half forward. But the back pocket player for the Geelong District side, then uh, Amy Williams, takes a nice mark. Right, Williams goes out the far side to the ground to centre wing, handball over the top by the Geelong side. Uh, they run into pretty stiff opposition there. Hassett it was, he loses the ball, a quick kick down forward for. Bass Valley, they're in front, it's knocked away Williams across the back of the pack again, picks it up, kicks down towards the centre of the ground, the ball in the nest of the uh, Bass Valley players, the big fella in Glasgow, uh, Glasscock couldn't get it out it's flipped out where it's picked up here by uh, Gisbert, Gisbert kicks intercepted, he's got backup support though the ball kicked towards the centre of the ground where Pirot picks it up, goes down towards half forward, but the Geelong side take the mark at centre up back, come out here wide to the wing where they find Alice, Alice now plays on quickly down and a half forward. Yes, and the race is on, but I think you'll find the boundary line will beat all players as they slide across the line and we'll have a throw in members' side here between the centre wing and half forward flank of uh, this very, very good arena in the Western Oval. Well, we've been travelling three and a half minutes of the first quarter. There's no scores on the board here this afternoon as uh, we see a high tackle has been placed and it looks like Paul Ware again. Where now? Another possession for the youngster. Kicks long down to centre half forward. The high flyer over the back. The big centre half forward and Anthony Bollum couldn't take the footy. Comes to ground level. Bursting through there was Greg Everson. He lost the footy. Kicked off the carpet. Good footy, Bass Valley. Kick now we see number 10 there, Barry. And I'm just trying to pick him up. No, this, there's uh, one they haven't given us, right? No, number 10 not listed, so he's a bit of a boogeyman. But it doesn't matter because uh, we see Jason Toy now with the footy for the Bass Valley. Kick to the forward pocket out of sight of the ground. In front there chasing was Rob Andrews, the full back for the Geelong District side. Couldn't trap it. We'll have another throw in. Uh, and the forward pocket for the Bass Valley. The, the ruck contest, the big man in front for Bass Valley. They got the ball down too, but it's all Ge Geelong and District. We see uh, Robin Ro Ratuala has uh, got the footy and uh, his kick though has gone straight to Bass Valley. Right, they kick it down towards the corridor, centre half forward, a handball out there, out there by Bass Valley. It's picked up and screwed over the shoulder there by Brand, but his kick's marked in the last line of defence by Rob Andrews. Andrews now, <coughs> not a very good kick out towards the half back line that goes across the line and will have a, a throw in. Good to see the young ladies involved. The trainer there just walking across in front of us. Uh, quite an attractive young lady. Waiting now for the boundary umpire to bring the ball back into play. A good throw in. Up they go. It's tapped over the back there for Bass Valley by the big fella in uh, Balm. And he'll receive the free kick. But he was being held by one arm. Kicking from about 45. Bass Valley at the moment, Barry. I know, I know it's only early stages, but gee, they look pretty big and aggressive. And uh, I think the Geelong and District boys are going to be on their uh, medal here this afternoon. As the kick, though, is slews off the side of the boot of the big fella. And uh, he's popped it over the line and uh, on the full. Geelong and District to take the penalty free kick. It looks like from here too, uh, Rob Andrews, the full back, oh, kicks long no. but over the back, taking another screamer. I think you'll find that's uh, Glasscock 
for the uh, Bass Valley side. The big Ruckman brings the ball to the corridor. David Cook punches Good the ball punch. away. Good football there and well sharked at ground level by Shane Treblecock. Goes short and finds uh, the half forward in Daryl Bissett. Plays on quickly. He's got um, Maroney loose. He tapped it on. Good football there. We see now that Frank Foppiani oh. goes short. Good football, Geelong and District. And a good lead too there by the co-chiefs in uh, Marty Whitson. Uh, Whitson, an opportunity now to kick from 30 metres directly in front. We've been travelling four and a half minutes of the first quarter. Yes, Maroney showed some desperation over on that half forward line there, Ron. Certainly great football, good unselfish football as well as the coach East comes in and goes bang! Pops through the first six-pointer here this afternoon. Five minutes into the first quarter here, uh, this game, Geelong and District Football League playing the Bass Valley here at the Western Oval this afternoon. And the GDFL get their first major on the board through the agency of Marty Whittison. Coached by the uh, ex-Geelong player who is presently still with Geelong, but on, uh, on the, the injured list as the guest video first quarter scoreboard says Geelong and District Football League, one straight goal, six points. Bass Valley yet to score. We've been travelling five minutes on the Rockies 24-hour. Alan Maroney now plays on quickly up there to Treblecock in front of his opponent and uh, Shane Treblecock takes a lovely mark. Kicks long. That's the order of the afternoon too here, Barry, as we see the coach East, Marty Whitson in front, but he was just knocked at the crucial time. He's desperate in there on the forward line, but I think you'll find uh, his efforts they were a little thrift, uh, frivolous on that occasion, Barry, because he's given a free kick away and uh, Bass Valley now cleared the ball from defence. OK, we're just trying to see what is happening with our cameraman at the moment. They seem to have lost everything. And our director downstairs is on drugs. Right, the boundary line throwing up. They go, Glasscock gets it down, but Bissett sharks it. Gets a quick kick in towards a pocket. Uh, but it's marked down there by Boyd, the captain of the Bass Valley. He's kicked towards the centre of the ground. Up they fly. Over the back of the packet, skids through, beats all players. Gives Bass Valley a chance here through the agency of Brown. But he uh, gets a quick handball out. Uh, first in there on the bottom of the packet, the Geelong player. But he falls over. The uh, pack develops. And that was a big fella there in, Ro in Robertson. But it's kicked out wide now, close to the boundary line. Over the line it goes, and we'll have a throw in. Off the boot of Timmy Macker, the Geelong and District centre half back. And uh, was training down at Bowen Heads pre season, Barry but has decided to go back. Right from the yeah, ruck jewel, uh, Bass Valley get the tap on. They tap it further afield, swooping in now to pick the ball up for the Bass Valley with sc a Scarpin, but he's beaten for a uh, quick handball over the top there for Geelong by Fapani. Sees it go to the back pocket, a kick out there, and they've found Daryl Jones. The skipper of the Geelong District Footy League now on out of side halfback flank uh, just hesitates, looks for some opening up the ground and finds one as well. A lovely kick there through David oh, Cook. Good and a nice mark in front there at and a half forward by Stewart. Mark Stewart. He's a big boy, the youngster. Yes, he is. I've seen him play a great game a couple of weeks ago for Karai. He's a short pass, though, and it comes unstuck. Handball here, but, oh, chipping in. Bissett. Bissett now. Screws one over the shoulder. A high kick, but it's floating across the front of the goal, and it's all Bass Valley back there, and they take a mark in the back pocket. Play on the umpire calls. Round the boundary he goes. A high kick down towards the half-back flank. Stewart underneath it. Tries to take it one hand. He couldn't. On the bottom of the pack, picking it up as Fapani. Kicks in towards the corridor, and he's found his teammate in Robertson. Play on the umpire calls. Great shepherd, Daryl Bissett. Hurt himself, though, too. Has taken the wind right out of his sails, but he put the big fella in. Uh, Doug McIver out of action as well. Let's hope that uh, he's not uh, too seriously hurt as the ball has ended up with uh, the Geelong District wingman in Timmy Ellis. Goes short, but oh, the kick is an absolute shocker. Bass Valley now get the footy back, decide to kick long. Up there to the centre of the ground, the, the man in front there taking the big leap was Bran. He couldn't take it, but the ball spills to one of the better players on the ground early stages in uh, Calderbella. Kicks along up there to half forward. Overrunning the ball is an opportunity now for Bass Valley if they can pick it up. Paul Beautiful. Ware does, looks at the goals and goes bang. Great football, Paul Ware. And uh, he's been quite uh, an influence for the Bass Valley early stages. Barry kicks his first and Bass Valley's first at the 10-minute mark of the first term. Yes, he had an open goal, but he picked it up, kicked the ball long and kicked hard at the ball also, and it went through. And they go to one goal, uh, six points trailing the GDFL who are on one goal, one seven. And that's proudly brought to you by guest video.
Productions. Rocky's 24-hour uh, locksmith time clock showing 11 minutes into the first quarter. Ball back with uh, central umpire and chairman of the Geelong Football Umpires League, Ray Edwards, to bounce. Favours the big ruckman from Bass Valley in Ian Glasscock. He uh, gets the ball down. Good football there to his teammate in McIver at centre-half back. Kicks to half forward. Breaking across there was Calder Bella. Good teamwork to wear. He pots it up to the pocket, looking for the full forward in New Henry. He can't take the ball. Good defence though, Geelong and District through Radawawa. Goes out wide. Finds his teammate there in Foppiani, who goes to Stewart. He can't take the footy. Quick hand pass there from the big fella in uh, Ray Robertson, but he can't find a target. The loose ball now at half back there for the Bass Valley side as well cleared. The race is on. Treblecock comes oh, good in. Shepherding. Good shepherding there too from uh, the Daryl Jones, the skipper. Gets the ball back off Treblecock, but he was a little slow in getting rid of the ball. As we see players having trouble picking it up, there was a high tackle there. Good umpiring by uh, Rowan David. And I think you'll find that uh, that looks like McIver for mine, the centre-half back for Bass Valley. Goes there to Everson in front, but couldn't hold the mark. And, uh, well, there's been a penalty there on uh, Foppiani, and he was a bit... Bit stiff, stiff on that occasion because players were relying on top of him. Barry didn't have a hope in hell of getting rid of the ball. As we see now that, uh, well, Basfelli kicked long to Good half forward. Cook. Yes, David Cook fists the ball away. Now we see that Alice doing battle with his opponent in uh, Glenn Bollum. That uh, good pressured footballer, he loses the footy, young Bollum. And uh, we'll see a boundary throw in on uh, centre wing here at the Western Oval. Right, the boundary umpire throws it in very high. Tapped down by the Geelong. Sock it off the ground by Fapiano. Goes across the way. Bissett picks it up nicely. Handball over the top. No, it was intercepted, but Bissett gets it back again. Good play. Spears a kick down forward. And a leading uh, Witterson comes out and takes a lovely mark about 45 metres out on a slight angle. They look good, Barry, don't they, when they get that ball quickly Moving. up the half forward. Um, Coach East, Marty Whitson, leading well and creating a lot of opportunities up forward. He's kicking from a good 50. The drop punt, it's uh, a lovely looking kick. The breeze just drags it back, but oh, right on the oh. last line of defence. There's been a free kick, I think you'll find, for a push. No, he's going to play the mark. Goes short. Oh, dangerous football, and gee whiz, that made uh, Adrian Scappen, the little fellow there, under all sorts of pressure, and the biggest bloke on the ground, and youngest for that matter, 18 years of age and 6 foot 5, Mark Stewart, has come in and just chipped uh, a lovely mark, and he's going to kick for goal from 30 metres. The drop punt looks good off the boot from young Mark Stewart, splits the woodwork here at Western Oval and kicks his first and a very handy second goal, Barry, at the 13 and a half minute mark of the first term. Yes, it was a bad play there by the Bass Valley coming out, kicking short, and especially kicking short straight down the corridor, and probably, to, as you said, to the shortest man on the ground against the largest man, and uh, Stewart's took the mark and brought up a six-pointer for the uh, GDFL. Well, that was Bruce Clark, I think you'll find, the back pocket player that made that blundle. He took a lovely mark, but, uh, gee whiz costly error as the ball now is back to the centre with central umpire Ray Edwards. He'll put the ball down to uh, commence play again uh, early stages of this first quarter here at the Western Oval. The bounce of the ball in the centre. Glasscock gets it down but Fabiano couldn't take it. A handball out here comes for Geelong to ease. Ease with a kick straight down the corridor. Up for in front Geelong. Stewart couldn't take the oh, ball. Oh, held without the held ball. Held without the ball. It's thrown out there by Boyd. Boyd comes out wide where he's got a teammate. The handball across the pirouette. Pirouette from halfback. Frank kicks towards the centre. Chipping in, taking a Good mark there for the uh, Bass Valley side was uh, Scapen. Scapen now down to half forward. A high kick. Up they go. The Geelong defence thump it down. Fapani in front. Kicks the ball down to half forward. A beautiful pass. Finds Maroney. Maroney goes further downfield. Yes, goes to the forward pocket. He couldn't find the target there of the big fella, Jason Katanak. The whistle has sounded as it's ball over the line and out of bounds in that half forward flank. Members side of uh, Western Oval here. We've been travelling 15 minutes of this first quarter and the scoreboard showing Geelong Football League, uh, or Geelong and District Football League, seven point uh, leaders at this stage. Ball back into play. The big ruckman again doing well there too as Glasscock gets the ball down to his little players in. Uh, I think you'll find that was Bolum. Kicks to the centre of the ground. All players going in strongly for the leather. Kicked off the carpet. Good football from David Brand. Creates an opportunity now for uh, Gisbert. He also kicks off the carpet. In front was Shane Earl, copping one for mine. And I think you'll find the umpire said, no, nope, we'll have a throw in on that outer side. Half forward flank for the Bass Valley. 
Right now, Boundary Empire to bring the ball back into play. Fifteen and a half minutes into this, the first quarter. The throw in a high one. Up they go. The Ruckman for Bass Valley through the, uh, there in... Uh, Bohm gets it to ground, but it's the Geelong small players in for Parney. Gets it down to half forward, looking for Bissett, and a good mark, strong mark, Bissett from behind, and uh, 50 metres from yes, behind. Yes, when I tell you what, that youngster, better be careful because uh, the cameras are right on you, mate. <laughs> and uh, he went whack into the midsection, and uh, well, the book or yellow card didn't come out as a uh, 50 metre penalty has been imposed on that player, and uh, <coughs> just can't quite pick him up. Ray Edwards, the umpire, just having a little chat in his ear. Bissett will be kicking, what, from about 35, 40 metres out on a 45-degree angle. Usually a lovely kick of the leather. The drop punt on this occasion. The breeze just holds oh. it up, but it doesn't matter. It's gone straight through. And I think the coach will be uh, of Bass Valley. We'll have a chat to Greg Everson at uh, quarter time. As, uh, he's the boy that's given that 50-metre penalty. And uh, a nice goal off the boot of uh, the Anarchy coach. Daryl Bissett playing at half forward here this afternoon and uh, played a lot of his football in the centre for the Anarchy side. will probably enjoy a bit of a break at half forward for the Geelong District side here today, Barry. Yes, he will, as we see the scoreboard. GDFL, three goals, one nineteen, Bass Valley, one goal straight, six. But isn't it amazing how many times players stand on that goal line and don't jump up to touch the ball? Certainly is, as we see some strong work by Ray Robertson, but the ball is well picked up by the big fellow in... Uh, the big ruckman, number 17, and Glasscock has done well. Kicks to half forward, and Nathan Pirro in front takes a nice mark. Kicks long up to the oh, teeth well of goal. Roved. Yes, here's some good football, and he sort of uh, recovered from Scrape. that error he made in that uh, last line of defence, young Scappin. And uh, he's waltzed in and kicked a very handy second goal for the Bass Valley here this afternoon. Barry, we've been travelling 13, sorry, 18 minutes of this first quarter. On the guest video scoreboard, Bass Valley, two straight goals, 12 points, trailing Geelong and District Footy League, 3 1 19. That's what you call true roving on the forward line. He, uh, the defenders did the right thing in going the punch, and he was at full tilt when he hit that ball, and uh, he was through the pack and uh, on his way to goal before uh, Geelong knew where he was. Certainly, warming up on the boundary line, too, for the Geelong and District side, Ian Cockrell, as we see the umpires here this afternoon. On the boundary, we've got Greg. Duddle and uh, Chris Harlock as well. Uh, Gordon Williams, Peter Taylor in the goals. David, uh, Rowan David and uh, Ray Edwards in the middle. And uh, good luck to the men in white here this afternoon. Good football there from Alan Maroney. Taps the ball forward. Mark Stewart lost his footy. Good, play. good enough to get it back to Maroney who punts the ball up there in front. The coaches in Marty Whitson takes a nice grab. He's leading well, Ron. Yes, well in front. And uh, well, there's a... Uh, the men down the ground, the running players of Bass Valley, have to try and do something to cut the uh, the passage off because he's leading straight down the corridor. On this occasion, he's kicked out from uh, the big full forward. Marty Whitson is well offline and uh, a minor score. One goal run off the boot of the Geelong District Football League spearhead in uh, Marty Whitson. Coming off the ground for the uh, Geelong side, we have uh, Glenn Menzies going on. As uh, you said, Ron, there was Ian Cockrell who was just warming up. It looks like uh, Bruce Clark goes with that spiral Good torpedo. Mark. Lovely football too and finds Doug MacGyver, the centre-half back. Plays onto his little rover there in Shane Earl who pops it onto his left foot. Gone to the centre of the ground. There's no one home for the Bass Valley except David Cook now. Gets the hand pass there from Craig Eaves. Kicks long, but gee whiz, there's plenty of big tall powers down there at uh, defence as Bruce Clark, the back pocket player, feeds off the hand pass to a uh, support there of the full back. And I think you'll find that was Dino uh, Geller. Goes out wide, but he can't find the target. And the ball is over the line and out of bounds on that out-of-side half-back flank position. 20 minutes have gone in the first quarter. Right from the boundary line, throw in Bass Valley, get the tap down, but the uh, Geelong small players again, and Fapani gets a kick down, oh, pushing the back there too. Bass Valley unseen by the umpire. Geelong tried to burst their way through. It's flipped out here, a kick towards a the goal there off the boot of uh, Katnak. Goes across the face of the goal, and it's run through for one point by the captain of Bass Valley and Colin Boyd. Yes, good pressure football there, Bass Valley, and uh, an opportunity there. Had there been someone in the corridor for Geelong and District, Barry, it would have been a certain goal because Jason Katnack did the right thing in getting the ball out there. The kick in from fullback down the corridor. It's picked up here for Geelong by Eves. A handball over the top and a long shot towards a goal off the boot there of uh, Wooderson again. But I think he's offline, <laughs> and one point is the result. <coughs> Missing a few opportunities, Ron. 
They certainly are, Barry. There's no real breeze here this afternoon. And, uh, well, we did have some early rain. None forthcoming at the minute. So hopefully the boys shouldn't have too many excuses in front of goal. And unfortunately, so far, Marty Whitson just having a little trouble finding the centre of the woodwork as the ball has been kicked back in by uh, the big full back from Bass Valley to centre half back. A little chip over the top and finds Nathan oh. Puro. Plays on, but off foolishly. As this is allowed Craig Eves to come oh. in. His short pass to Treble Cocteau was well intercepted uh, by the big fellow, and he's done all right too in Glen Bollum for the Bass Valley. Plays on quickly, gives it across to his team, and I think that could be Jeff Ibster. Goes up long to centre half forward, but again, Cockrell was there for the Geelong District side. Goes wide to the members' half back flank position to Craig Eves. He was under all sorts of pressure. And uh, good work there from Nathan Pirro. Sees the ball go out of bounds on that half forward flank, Bass Valley. Right, boundary umpire to bring the ball back in at the 21 minute mark of the first quarter. A lovely throw in by this uh, boundary umpire. Up they go, Geelong get the tap down. Cook runs onto the ball. He's bumped off the ball less uh, by the uh, wear for uh, Bass Valley. But he's got the ball now. Cook runs to the centre, runs his full distance, thumps it down towards the forward line. Up in front was the Geelong player. It's tapped down. Maroney goes after it. Over the top of his player he goes. Bottom of the pack he goes to get the ball. But the umpires call for it. And we'll have a, a ball up. Uh, forward flank for the uh, GDFL side. Good football, Jason Katanak. They're fisting it away. And Alan Maroney just... A fraction too early could have stolen at ground level, and uh, anyway, umpire Edwards is going to bounce it down. We see good work there, Bass Fella get it the ball down to ground, looking there for young Pirro. He can't trap it again. Ball is a little slippery still from that early rain, and we'll have a throw in on that half forward flank members' side off Western Oval. Up they go. Katanak used his body well, but couldn't get hand to ball. Treble Cox there. Kicks off the carpet looking for Bissett. Used his body well, Daryl Bissett. Feeds oh, off a lightning ball. hand pass. Good football to Maroney on the left foot. Goes bang. And I think you'll find he's popped through his first of the afternoon uh, and a very handy fourth goal to the Geelong District Footy League. Yes, good play there again by Bissett, uh, Ron, over there. Strong play. He got the ball out with a good handball, and Maroney ran onto the ball and uh, kicked. Over the uh, shoulder a fraction, but right through the centre. Yes, great football. And, uh, well, the Geelong District boys looking pretty comfortable at this 23-minute uh, mark of this first quarter. Pretty what was by Rocky's 24-hour locksmith and trophies time clock. As we see that the Geelong District Footy League 4-4-28, leading the Bass Valley Footy League two straight goals, 12 points. Right, the ball back in the centre now. Glasscock in the ruck for the uh, Bass Valley side. Oh, but not a very good bounce. It goes straight into the arms of Fapani in the centre. He kicks down a corridor and in front Geelong, but that's thumped away. Grabbed here for uh, Bass Valley and kicked out of defence by McDermid. And it goes out to the half uh, forward flank. Socket uh, off the ground further towards the boundary line. Slipping and sliding over there are the players from both sides. And it's taken across the line by Geisbert. No, it's not. It was kept in play, and a free kick has been paid over there to Bass Valley. I thought it had gone over the line, Ron, but uh, no, play on was the call. Certainly was, Barry, as Bass Valley now with the footy. Bring the ball back to the centre of the ground. Underneath the football is young uh, uh, Jeff uh, Osbister, and he takes a nice mark at centre-half forward for the Bass Valley. Ibista now tries the torpedo punt, but it's a bit of a mongrel as it's turned out. The ball now hits the turf. Foppiani just pounces on it sweetly. Looks up the ground. There's no one home for the Geelong District side, as we see coming across the big fella. Traps it in front of himself, but he's having trouble picking it up. He does so now. Good football there from Doug McIver. The centre-half back goes up to half forward. Oh, coming through strongly there was... Uh, David Brand, his hand pass put his teammate under all sorts of pressure. It was an up and under, but it's at ground level working hard again for the uh, Bass Valley side with oh, Rob Gisberts. Puts it up to the teeth of goal, uh, but I think you'll find Hamie Williams is there. No, Andrews. And uh, uh, Robert Andrews takes a fine grab. He ran with the flight of the ball there, Ron. The full back for Geelong and District brings it out to the members' uh, half-back flank position. Finds <laughs> Timmy Allison. He kicks the ball straight down the throat of Shane Treblecock. Right, Treblecock kicks to half forward in front. Maroney takes a juggling mark there between centre wing and half forward flank. Maroney now goes towards a corridor. Up they fly. Oh, good defensive play here coming through strongly for the Bass Valley as Gallagher goes out towards a wing and a mark taken over there for them by Shane Earl. Good use of the body on, on Williams, the back pocket player. Earl now with the footy. 
at half forward. Goes up there looking for his teammate who tripped at the crucial time and chipping in, taking a nice mark to the big ruckman in Ray Robertson. Right, the kick towards the centre of the ground and the mark taken in the centre of the ground for the uh, GDFL side. Ian Cockrell it is and uh, he now kicks long up there to centre half forward. Oh, Stewart was uh, held out of that contest. Oh, umpire, you've got to open your eyes, mate because he was shepherded it out of that contest, Barry, and actually paid it the advantage to Bass Valley. That's Can't right. Can't work that one out. Right, uh, the handball now here for Bass Valley. It's come off the hands of uh, Cole DeBella. Goes down towards the half-forward line, but it's a Geelong ball. Mark not played to the GDFL, but they get out of it with handball over the top to Bissett. Bissett from half-back flank. Chips one down towards the centre wing and taking a good mark as, uh, for Geelong is Eves. Eves now with a lovely pass, and it hits Maroney right on the tit. He can't take the ball, though. It goes straight to ground. Trevelcock chips in, though, for the Geelong and District side. Punts it up to the teeth of goal, but there's nobody home for the uh, Geelong boys and this is allowed the big fella in uh, Dino Geller the full back to feed off the hand pass good support MacIver goes down to the wing position looks up there for uh, Gisbert's but he can't take the footy and over she goes for another throw in on that outer side centre wing uh, 26 and a half minutes are gone on the Rockies 24 hour Luxmith and Time Cock Trophies Award unless I'm mistaken GDFL have still not had a free kick well, Barry, I think you're pretty right there at the moment. There's a couple of kicks that have gone against them would have got me absolutely baffled. And, uh, well, it doesn't matter because they're still winning on the scoreboard. As we see breaking through centre wing is the big fella, Daryl Bissett, up there to the coach who's in Williamson. Good pressure there from uh, Ellis, but uh, they butter up well, the best Valley. Clear the ball from half back. That was good football from the skipper, Colin Boyd. But there's nobody home at half forward. This has allowed the sentiment who's done well for Geelong too in Craig Eves. Uh, goes short and Shane Tebletop uh, comes in and takes a nice mark at centre half forward. Right, he, the high kick down towards the goal line. A beautiful kick, but I think it's come off the hands of the players and through for one point. Yeah, good footage along the district and uh, unfortunately just couldn't capitalise there. Trevor Cox's kick was a good one, but just couldn't quite get over the heads of the players in the teeth of goal. The big fella, Clark now, brings the ball back into play. Oh, over the top, Alice uh, couldn't take the footy. MacIver's there, feeds off to his running teammate in uh, Scappen. He's uh, working hard, can't pick the footy up. It still goes on. Oh, tried another kick off the carpet, but missed contact of the footy. We see working hard there was Alice. The ball spills now where Cockrell chips in and goes up there to half forward. Beautiful Triple cock pass. doing well. And I tell you what, he's had oh. many touches. Played on and kicked into the man on the mark, which was poor footy. This is allowed young Piro to come in. Feeds off the hand pass. Good football, Bass Valley. A little quick chip there. And uh, diving on the ball there was Glenn Bolland. He'll take the mark at centre wing. Bad play by Triple Cock. It certainly was as Bolin now on the left foot kicks long a good lead too and oh copy one being held for mine yes and up by Ray Edwards is right on the ball uh, Anthony Bolin will take the free kick for Bass Valley at half forward right now waiting for the uh, Bass Valley side to get this ball back now right they play on now the kick oh, uh, down towards the forward pocket it's all Geelong at the back of the pack they uh, got the numbers but they're ra not picking this ball up it's slippery down there and it goes across the line and we'll have a throw in Amy Williams had a bit of problems there, didn't he? But, he did. Uh, good pressure, Bass Valley, and that's forced the ball to be thrown in now in that forward pocket. And uh, have kept it in their forward line, Bass Valley. Over the top of the pack, tripping at the crucial time at ground level was Earl, and the ball has throw. come out. There has been a throw on that uh, Geelong and, and District player. I think you'll find that was against the skipper, Daryl Jones. And uh, Bass Valley, an opportunity here with one of the big men on the ground for Bass Valley, and th they are quite big, Barry. The size of these players is just horrendous. Anthony, you Henry now. On the left foot, the kick is an absolute left shocker foot is kick. as the siren has sounded to terminate quarter time here at the Western Oval. 29 and a half minutes of travel of that first quarter. As we see at quarter time, Barry, in this uh, interleague clash between Geelong and District Football League and the Bass Valley Football League this Sunday, the 7th of June, 1992, at the Western Oval. Quarter time scoreline, a pretty handsome one for the Geelong boys. They're 4 5 29, leading Bass Valley 2 1 13. We'll be back with the action very shortly.